Good morning, grade three. I welcome you to a brand new social studies lesson. This week, we are going to begin reading lesson two, changing the environment, which is part of chapter four, unit two. However, this lesson is all about graph skills. So right now, in this lesson, in this particular lesson, we're going to learn how to compare graphs, use them to answer questions. So we're comparing graphs, right? We're gonna look at different graphs to interpret data and answer some questions. So let's begin. Perfect, so this is page 120 and 121 from your textbook and you can see that there are two types of graphs, two highlighted graphs, pictograph and a bar graph. This is your picture graph, this is your bar graph. We've gone through this multiple times during almost every subject, starting from math all the way to science, social studies, and English as well. Sometimes while you're reading and comprehending and you come across data where you need to um, interpret answers based on the data that's being represented by graphs. So on this particular page, we're going to deal with picture graph and a bar graph, and we're going to read the information and answer these questions. Okay, so let's, let me show you, let me show you how that's gonna be done by jumping all the way to page number 20, uh, 34 and 35 in your practice book. So please open up your practice books and let's look at these graphs. Let's study them and answer these questions. Great, so what I want you to do is grab a pencil and get ready. Let's read the instructions first. Study the graphs below, then answer the questions on the next page. That's your next page. And now we're going to look at some information about um, Ida Terad, the dog sled race that takes place every year in Alaska, right? So during the 1,150 mile race, teams deal with below freezing temperatures. Brrr, let's send the spin, uh, chill down my spine. That's a very cold. And winds so strong, they cannot see long hours of darkness. Wow, and steep climbs, very adventurous. The graphs show the low temperatures for a uh, one week period on one part of the trail. Wow, so this graph is showing um, temperatures during this Ida Terad dock sled race and that too, temperatures during an entire week. Perfect, and then there are some questions that we need to answer. So let's look at what they've given us. This is a picture graph, right here, low temperatures for one week of the dark side rays. And then here is your bar graph, right? You can see the days are on this axis. This is your key right here. And this key is pretty interesting because this black circle is number of degrees above zero. And this slash right here represents zero degrees. And this white circle here is a number of degrees below zero. Perfect. Let's look at this one here. All right, the temperatures are um, mentioned in numbers. That's um, pretty helpful sometimes. So all these numbers below zero Fahrenheit are like shivering cold, super, super, super low temperatures, very cold, snowy. And above um, 100 degree Fahrenheit is a little warmer, much better. So that's above zero degrees right there. And then uh, on this axis here, I can see uh, all the days all the way from Sunday to Saturday in a week. Perfect. Now let's read the question. So the first question is, which day had the warmest temperature? warmest temperature. Now anything warm is going to be above zero degree, right? So if that's all zero, all your above zero degrees, because we're looking for the warmest temperature, is going to be above zero. Okay, so well I can use this uh, graph, uh, this picture graph, and I can basically say Sunday and Friday, uh, but in order to answer the, the warmest day, I'll have to definitely look into the temperatures that are mentioned right here. So I think I'll be looking at a bar graph. Now this is where you're comparing how different graphs um, are are used to answer different questions. So in that case scenario, now my focus is Sunday, obviously, and Friday. But when I look at the bar graph, it's very evident, and I get a quick answer that that the warmest day is definitely Sunday because you can see that Friday is a little right here above, definitely above zero degree Fahrenheit, but then 10 Fahrenheit is warmer than this five Fahrenheit degree Fahrenheit here. So the answer is Sunday, right? 
Perfect. Let's look at the second question. What three days? How does temperature of zero? Three days, temperature zero. That's a zero. So you've got your Monday. That's Thursday and Saturday. This is me representing, um, interpreting the same data right here using this picture graph. And this is easy, really, because I know that the key states that this slash here is zero degrees. So Monday, Thursday, Saturday. So I can say these are my answers here. As I can get the same answer using both of these picture graph and the bar graph. Great. Let's look at the second question. And the second, uh, sorry, the third question. And the third question is, which day, during which day was the low temperature colder than minus five degrees Celsius? Now, for this question, I'd definitely prefer using the bar graph. Why? Because I've got these um, degree Fahrenheit right here. Okay, mentioned. So I think I'd definitely use a bar graph. So let's look at this. Um, which day was it the low temperature colder than five? So first, let me find out where's five degree Fahrenheit. So that if that's zero, minus five, right? Not five, because five is going to be here. And minus five is going to be anything negative lower than five is your negative five. So, so negative five need to go down somewhere here. Perfect. So that's zero. So that's definitely in the middle. That's a five because that's 10, 15, and then 20 minus 20 minus 15, 10 minus five, right? Go backwards. So perfect. That's minus five. Let me scroll my finger all the way. And the answer is Tuesday's got minus five degree Fahrenheit. However, I'm being asked which day was the low temperature colder. Der. That means I'm looking for an answer that's lower than this minus five on a Tuesday. That is minus 10 degree Fahrenheit right here. So your answer is going to be Wednesday. Did you get it? So colder. That's, that's a comparison. They're looking for something colder than Tuesday, and that's Wednesday because you look over here. Oh, that's the coldest day, actually. Minus 10 degree Fahrenheit right here. Perfect. Now, let's look at the next question. Oopsie. What do Sunday and Friday have in common? So I'm going to go to Sunday. I'm going to go to Friday. And then I'm going to look at this bar graph. And I see that, all right, 10 degree Fahrenheit. And Friday is a 5 degree Fahrenheit. And then I can also look at the picture graph right here of Sunday. And Friday are the only two days where the number of degrees are above zero. So those are warm days in the week. So, well, your answer could be they both are these both of these days are the degrees were above zero, right? So both the days were warmer as compared to the rest of the days during this week, this particular week mentioned. Great. Let's look at. Let's see, zero degree Fahrenheit, and that's me trying to explain that that's the coldest. So what was the coldest temperature recorded during that week? Question five, coldest temperature, and the answer is, if that's your zero degree Fahrenheit, anything below is cold, like super cold. Of course, that's cold too, but that's like super duper cold. So go down, you see right here at the minus 10 degree Fahrenheit is your coldest temperature recorded during that week. So here, am I going to write the name of the day? What was the coldest temperature? No, I'm going to write V degree Fahrenheit, right? Great, so I'll share these answers with you. The first one was Sunday. I hope you wrote those answers down by yourself. If you haven't, please do complete your VEC. And that's your minus 10 degree Fahrenheit, coldest um, recording, uh, recorded temperature during that week. Don't forget that little degree for the Fahrenheit, thanks to Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit, uh, this uh, degree Fahrenheit is basically named after the physicist uh, Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit from Poland, but don't worry about that. Just put that degree up there. Great. So grade three, please don't forget to complete your work today. Uh, complete any work that's pending and do review your map skills on page 2023 and the study guide for unit two uh, on page 29 and 30 in your practice book. Leave a comment if you have any problems and I'll come back to you. Best of luck, grade three.